Well, third part of our first kata, Sega. I attack her. And the beginning is the same as in the first and second variation. The difference is she goes back first. She lets me survive and I am such a rhinoceros, I want to attack her again, so I have to die. No second chance. That's a very important thing for life. If someone does something wrong, give him a chance. Not two times. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> it's bad for you. Zanshi. She does Zanshi, I do Zanshi, and one. She moves, two. And I, not dying, she saves my life. And now I have this. Kisaki in front of me, it's not very comfortable, so I want to attack her again. I don't take my chance, I throw it away. So, we have the same situation as in the first part of the kata, but the difference is now she's threatening me and not I'm threatening her. But I want to do the same as she does, did. I want to throw her sword away. So, as she's standing there, I have to. Bam! Yeah? But she waits for it. So, what she's doing is. That's bad for my stomach and for my life. I will not survive. So, we have two different possibilities for her to go up and down or to go down and fast. They are different in the fastness and in strength. She does the strong form. Up, down, cut. Yeah? All the fast movement is... Yeah? In both cases I will not survive. Of course you could now say, why don't you do that? That's what I want to do. But I have to need energy, I have to take energy to get her sort of way here, so I can't stop here, yeah? Her sword will not move if <laughs> it's not possible, yeah? So I have to BAM! And then my sword is here, and she can counterattack if she's fast enough. If you try that with Bokto, uh, with wooden swords, you have to watch uh, the timing. The timing is very important in all of our cutters. If you do it wrong, it will not function. So you have to exercise, we did that for weeks, to have to get the correct timing. She goes away and goes forward. And she has to come here while I'm still moving in that way. Yeah? So, if you find this cutter is not working, it's not because it's not working, it's your timing. You have to, to try it out. Of course, there are a thousand different ways to deal with this situation and you can find other forms, how you... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah? That's possible as well. It's just one possibility that we have uh, concreted into this cutter. So, if you uh, are uh, able to perform this cutter perfectly, you can find different variations. It's no, nothing wrong with it, but of course, this is our form. So, one and die. Then she does chibori, chinogui, as she wants. I said it's not prescribed how she does it. It depends on her mood. If she says, wow, what a wonderful death, she will. <laughs> yeah, she will do it 
in a wonderful way if she says, oh, this <laughs> rough piece of <laughs> bad junk. So <laughs> she will do it differently. It depends on your mood. You are allowed to do uh, chivalry like uh, the, this one, or you can do a big one, a small one. In all ways, you have to clean yourself afterwards. Yeah? With Cloth. That's what we do. Um, be careful. If you do it with Bokto, it can be dangerous already. If you do it as we do it with uh, steel yaito, it's more dangerous because uh, this is not a sharp sword, but now it's a sharp sword because it has so many. It's like a saw, yes? And she could kill me with it very easily. So always be careful and uh, you have to have someone, if you are training it as a partner training, Kumitachi, be very careful. Um, we don't take, uh, we, we don't insure you. Huh? We, if you kill someone with it, don't blame us for it. Yeah? Uh, in, in, uh, you, I don't know, you should have a, a doctor beside you or something else, I don't know. Thank you.